Hey, Tara Cherie here with you, and it's so good to be here with you. And if you are joining for the first time, I just want to welcome you. And if you are returning, I also want to welcome you to our special Facebook Live today. And this is a really near and dear topic to me. I'm coming to you live from my home office, and I just want to share with you um, something that I have been learning over the last 28 days. And I've been on my health journey now for over seven years at least. Um, but over the course of the last year and a half or so, I've taken it to a different level and especially over the last 28 days. And my reason for doing this was several reasons. Um, first of all, I really prayed and meditated on it. And I really felt like this was something that I needed to do for myself. I had um, just had a baby and, um, you know, I look back and I reflect on our middle child who was born just over two and a half years ago. Yes, I have two, two and under. And um, at any rate, uh, I lost my mom really unexpectedly due to unrelated heart complications and about six months later, uh, my father uh, had to have a quadruple bypass surgery, and luckily my dad made it. He's doing great now. I'm so thankful for that. Um, but it did make me reflect and look back and say, hey, I really need to take my health to that next level. I really need to do something different. And it was a huge motivator because I didn't want to look back at my life uh, 28 days you know, later, even a month later, a year later, even several years later, and look at medical expenses or look at prescriptions or look at, um, you know, medical stays or, you know, who knows what could happen, right? And so uh, I made a decision to make a change in my life. And that change was that I decided that I was going to go on our 28-day detox program inside of our company. And I'm on my phone, my pictures, my results are actually on my phone. So what I'm gonna do after this video is I'm gonna actually share those results and I'm gonna post them on my Facebook so that you can see all the changes reflected over the last 28 days. You know, this detox, I have to say, was incredibly life-changing. It was certainly super eye-opening. I learned so much in this time period. It actually made me want to do research and homework. And when I did my homework and I really looked at everything that our company products provide, because I've had people ask me before, well, isn't your nutrition just like any other nutrition that's out there? Isn't your detox just like any other detox? I know how to eat healthy. I can take care of my body. Well, that might be true, and a lot of people do really believe that. And it's okay, I don't judge at all because actually that was me. You know, I was there a year ago, you know, so I, I totally understand. And you have to find your path and what works for you. And there's so many things out there that are awesome, that are wonderful, that are, you know, really helping people to create change in their life. And for that, I'm really grateful that there's some awesome programs. I have friends that are seeing, and family members too, that are seeing excellent results in what they're doing, and that is awesome, and I encourage them and support them all the way. And if that's you, I encourage and support you all the way. Um, I'm by no means selling you on anything. I'm not going to convince you of anything either. But what I will share are my experiences with our 28-day detox, and how it has changed my life because when I did the research and I did the homework, I realized, wow, that is everything. I could seriously do my research and look at all the ingredients and all of the products and say, oh my gosh, that's why I do this at this time of day. That's why I do this this time of day. And it was completely mapped out. So it was really simple, easy for me to follow, which I love because I love being able to follow a simple process with simple instructions, right? And I have been somebody that had had a number of headaches. I struggled with, I wouldn't say like deep depression, but just situational at times. And I was anxious a lot. And um, I knew that the medication that I was on was creating toxins. I also knew that some of the foods that I was eating were creating toxins. Why? Because 
my brain and my gut are connected and I really learned just how connected they really are and um, all chronic health issues all problems even just simple allergies they all stem from the same thing your gut health right so I'm like okay I'm experiencing these headaches that don't go away. I'm having this anxiety. I just had a baby. It would be awesome if I could lose the extra weight. And though I don't have the actual inches that I've lost, I can tell you that I've lost over eight pounds in the last 28 days, but I've lost a number of inches. When I first started the detox, I was between a size 14, 16. And after the 28 days, I've gone now down to a size 10 petite and skinny jeans, which is huge. I have noticed that my inflammation has gone down in my body. Like I said, I'll post the pics so that you can actually see the results um, once this Facebook Live is done. And I can tell you that my headaches have gotten a lot better. I feel so much more calm and peaceful. And I feel the attraction um, to my husband because I'm so much more relaxed so I can have so much more fun and I can enjoy my time and be present with my husband and connected with him and the kids and that has made just a huge difference in our overall household dynamic. I have way more energy, no more afternoon crashes. How many of you would like to get rid of those afternoon crashes and just really feel sensational and have stamina to carry out your whole day and then sleep like a baby at night, right? That's like all of our goals, especially with children because children wear us out by the end of the day, right? But this really changed my life forever, the impact it had. And I will continue. There's, um, there's a way to do like a seven day detox and a 28 day detox. Right now, I've made the decision after this 28 days to go into a maintenance mode. Um, but what I will do in the next 30 days is pick back up on a seven day detox. I'll do a few of those and then I'll jump back and do another 28 day detox after about a 90 day period. And I will keep going. I've learned that what I've done over the last 28 days, it's not just a diet. It's not a fad. It's absolutely a lifestyle change. And I took time to reflect, even though I didn't lose as many, I mean, eight pounds is still great. And I've been able to keep it off so far. And I've been in maintenance mode now for the last couple of days, haven't gained anything back. Um, if anything, I'll continue to steadily lose because I continue to stay on the product. It's just that um, even though we eat and we eat solid, it's a real, real gentle detox. I still am adding a little bit of extra calories just because I'm breastfeeding and my baby's only 18 weeks, right? My youngest. And so the biggest thing that I've learned is being a mom of three and being on this detox or several things. And I hope you don't mind, but I went and I took some notes because I really wanted to reflect. I wanted to take a reflection moment. Like what did I take away besides some weight lost and some inches lost? And here's a few things that I really learned that made our detox so much different from any of the other detoxes that I had done. Now, I I had lost weight in my past, okay? I had, I had been on several programs and, and lost weight, but guess what? I gained it all back, and I lost a lot of weight, okay? But I gained it back, and I gained it back because I didn't have the accountability, I didn't have the mentorship, but here, in this company, we're part of a team. We encourage each other daily and weekly. I have mentorship in my life that encourages me. If I have questions, I know who I can go to. I have somebody holding me accountable so I can stay on track, and that is huge. You know, yes, you can go buy something at the store, but you know, at the end of the day, you're still in the process alone. You may have a friend encouraging you or something, but do you have a whole team of people that is really rallying behind you with your results. And to me, that's a really big deal. And it kept me really motivated because there were other people that were doing it with me. And we were encouraging each other along. And as we had questions or, you know, maybe we didn't do something right, we used it as a means, oh, this is what I learned today, you know, kind of thing. And it was really just incredible to see that level of just support and humility and just rawness and realness. It was amazing to see, you know, really humbling experience. And 
Um, I also learned about my experience that it's not, like I said, it's not a diet. It's so much more than that. It's a whole lifestyle change. It's a whole different way of eating. And even though some habits die hard, you know, I, I noticed that over time my cravings were changing as toxins were being flushed out of my body. And I never knew that drinking half your body weight was so essential to just the weight loss that came off, just to hydrating at a cellular level. You know, I didn't realize that there was waste in your cells and that they needed to be gotten rid of, that it could be inhibiting and that there were hormones and different things going on with my body that could be inhibiting my weight loss and my results. And so this is why I combined nutrition with my food and with activity and took certain product, you know, before and after activity so that I could repair, so that I could, you know, um, just recover, if you would, and, you know, heal my body essentially from the inside out. I never knew that, you know, having several waist movements a day was a good thing. And I wasn't like that before I started the detox. My body wasn't cleansed. That's how toxic and acidic my body really was. And I hate to be like that frank, but it's it's true. Like some people, they don't have waste and use the toilet like that for maybe two or three days. Some people longer and, you know, several times a day was a really good thing. And I really learned the importance of, you know, getting seven to nine hours of sleep and how that actually wasn't just good for you, but it was repairing my body. It was, it was healing it. It was allowing the breakdown of, you know, just waste and recovery to happen and for my body to fully recover from expelling waste because drinking half your body weight every day will eliminate a lot. It will completely flush your system out and your system needs a chance to recover from, you know, it's, it's cleansing, you know, it, it needs a time to heal and to process like what just happened that day, right? And so um, that was huge. And how just even drinking half your body weight would give you so much more mental acuity and focus and clarity. And it wasn't just about hydration. It was about how your organs function, how your body feels when it drinks that amount of water. That's part of how you get your energy and get rid of uh, being in a lethargic state or being fatigued, right? And I learned that water combined with proper nutrition and food was actually what was creating these healthy habits that I began to crave. You know, I began to crave eating healthier. I began to see that I had less of an appetite. You know, um, I'm not exactly the skinniest girl. I'm more muscular by nature. And um, that's not a bad thing. But and in fact, in an ideal situation, um, I am a, in a sense a true ectomorph, meaning I have a really nice body type when I really properly take care of it. I still haven't hit my goal as of yet. But what I have done along the way is I've continued to reward myself, right, for making these changes. And every time that, um, you know, I lost a couple more pounds, I'd reward myself. Maybe it was like, and kept it off. So maybe it was like a lipstick that I wanted. Or, you know, when I got down to the point that I dropped a clothing size, I go buy myself a new shirt or a new pair of jeans, right? Something to just keep myself going. And then I noticed that, you know, that was motivating for me not to eat food late at night. Why? Because you weren't drinking half your, your body weight at that point, or you shouldn't be, otherwise you'd be up all night, right? You know? And so um, there was no way to cleanse the body of that. So delayed gratification became really key because one of my biggest, I'll be real honest, one of my secrets is before the detox, I, I was a late night snacker. 
I know that's not healthy for you, but there was no way for my body to get rid of that. And so I really had to tell myself no. And at times that was like really difficult, but I learned, um, what was so good about just keeping the liquids going. You know, there are certain things that we could still have in the evenings and that kept me going a lot. So lots of clear broths and liquids, you know, kept me in check, especially when I got bored of wanting to drink the water, right? It took a lot of consistency and it took a lot of discipline but when you start changing your eating habits, you become what you eat. I'm sure like you've heard that before. So if you're eating really healthy, you begin craving those things. And I noticed the more I did that, the more I wanted, you know, the apple or the vegetables. And like, you know, some people might be like, well, Tara, that's, that, that can't possibly be true. You're lying. No, seriously, I started craving salads and fresh fruit and, you know, nuts and more plant-based protein. And I realized that my body didn't need as much meat as I was eating. I noticed that my portions went down. I noticed that because I was eating so healthy that, you know, being a little bit bigger, you know, you'd think that you would need to eat more food. But actually I noticed over time that I wanted to eat less food. I noticed that my appetite was being more suppressed. And I noticed that um, that gave me better portion control over how much that I was eating. Um, I noticed that, you know, my muscles were repairing and there wasn't as much, you know, cellular issues going on. I noticed that there wasn't as much waste um, being expelled over time, though it was consistent daily. And I noticed that because I noticed how much better I felt. And I didn't, like I said, I felt so much more peaceful and... You know, um, it was just huge. I can't explain the feeling if I could just put it into words, you know. And even though I saw periods where I would go, you know, up and down a little bit, okay, in, in my weight through the, through the time that I lost the eight pounds, okay. Now I'm in maintenance. I, I haven't gained anything back, but... You do fluctuate a little bit sometimes when you're on the detox. I realized that that was water, you know, like my body is like trying to take in that water and really heal itself. And that was huge because I never had a plan or a product laid out in front of me that showed me exactly what step to take next and when. But this made it so simple for me to follow. You know, this made it so simple for me to want to continue forward. You know, this gave me hope that I had something tangible that I could really stick out and stick with. It wasn't just, oh, I did this for 28 days for the last four weeks and I'm done, you know, or I'm not going to do this again, or I'm going to wait for the next best thing. No, I literally like flooded for four weeks, you guys, my body with legit nutrition. I changed every way that I ate. You know, I changed so much over time. I changed the way I slept. I made sure I was so disciplined. Here I had been before making excuses about time and not being able to do these things because three children. But hello, when I had a plan in front of me, there were no excuses. That plan took every excuse I had completely away from me. And I stayed focused throughout the whole process and I felt great about doing it because I knew when I woke up this is what I need to do before breakfast this is what I do during breakfast this is what I do at lunchtime this is what I do mid-afternoon this is what I do at dinner and this is what I do before bed and it just became so crystal clear sure um I had to you know buy extra water at the store right because we don't have a filtration system here but if you do you're added bonus to you save even more money right but here we were going through like 232 case packs of water a week just because our water increased you know my husband wasn't doing the detox but he was definitely taking the products along with me and eating a lot of the foods that I was eating because that's what I had available you guys I saved so much more money on my grocery bill because I was doing more plant-based protein so I didn't spend as much money on me I didn't have to think about you know, what meals was I going to plan for the week? So I saved so much more time in the kitchen. 
And that gave me even more family time and time with my husband, which is priceless. These are all things that I wanted. So it just really all in all simplified my overall quality of life. So I felt like I was getting my quality of life back over the last 28 days. And as much as I like cooking and I like meal planning, I like eating raw. I like keeping things really super simple. And sure, I had some extra staples for the kids available. And there were foods that I did cook and prepare. Not all of it was raw, you know. But um, I liked the idea that you got to choose how you did that. You know, now that I'm in maintenance mode, um, I'll probably do a few more meals each week just because, um, you know, it's a little bit more of a maintenance period. Um, but I definitely like when the days that I have a lot going on that I need things that are quick. It's something quick that I can follow. Yes, you have to set aside a little bit of time to do it. You have to be a little bit more cognizant about the time and the way that you spend it. And I had to be more conscientious of, okay, it's now 930 time for bed because I have to get up so early in the morning. But what it taught me was that I could be disciplined when I really wanted to be, that I could be consistent with something. If I really chose to be, that I could keep going, that I could be there for others and knowing that I was meant to help other people and that I was doing this to be a testimony to serve and be able to help other people was really motivating knowing that people were, you know, counting on me to pull through. And I had people along the way asking me, hey, what's the detox doing for you? What are you, what are you noticing? I'm like, gosh, you know, all these things and I'm rattling a whole bunch off energies, better sleep, you know, um, stamina, you know, um, I have more mental clarity, you know, I'm able to keep going throughout my day. I have lots of energy, you know, I feel so much better. My body feels better. I don't have aches and pains. I don't have inflammation. And I'm able to like tell them all these things, right? You know, and they're like, well, can you help me with such and such? Well, that was like super encouraging to be able to know um, that this program can be so much more than just a program. It's a vessel to really be able to help people get their quality of life back, to be able to, whether it's dropping pounds or losing inflammation, or if they're dealing with a really huge health situation, you know, and maybe not everybody, I mean, I was relatively healthy. Um, I really did it so I could be overall healthy in the inside out. I really wanted to release the acidity in my body and return it back to an alkaline state. Um, because when you do that, your body's in homeostasis and disease can't happen. So it was like more of a preventative thing that I wanted to do and also to lose weight. That's true, you know, um, but you know, just knowing that if somebody's dealing with some serious health issues that, you know, maybe way different than even my situation, just knowing that I could shed some light on that and I could look into that and I could really assist them with that really made a huge difference. It was also another reason why 28 day detox is more than 28 day detox. It's a lifestyle. It's a way of life. It's a way of changing things. And you could, you could easily go and you could pop a pill, right? You could, um, you know, take that one capsule that's supposed to help you lose 20 pounds. But that doesn't teach you all these life lessons. That doesn't teach you how to better fuel your body or how to feed it or how to get better sleep or how to properly hydrate, okay? And it doesn't have the same accountability or the same effects to it, okay? You can do that and still get a result, but are you gonna really make these changes that are more what I would consider a lifestyle change as opposed to let me just pop this and be done. I lost 20 pounds. Now I'm good. I'm moving on with my life. This is so much more than that. If you can see the vision beyond yourself, it brings this detox into a whole new meaning. What if we could help people get freed? And I'm not making any medical claims, but even to be able to get off a medication or two medications or, you know, maybe... The person doesn't know how to properly feed and nourish their body, so we're able to teach them that. Or, you know, maybe we're able to share a few tips with them and they get started on the product. Next thing you know, you're being paid for your time and you're able to fund other commitments and other things and, you know, help children and you're able to help other adults and maybe you're serving in missions, maybe you're doing other things. 
And it's all because you made the decision to start on your health journey and you made a decision that you were going to make some changes because people were counting on you and you decided you were going to get teachable because maybe you didn't do exactly everything um, that you could to really take care of your body. Maybe you thought you were completely taking care of your body and then you took a product and then you started learning and growing because that's what happens when we start asking questions. And then you realize, wow, maybe I'm not and I have some things to learn. So you started sharing with other people, right? That's how this happens. It's not a matter of convincing anybody, but it's sharing an opportunity. It's growing together. It's learning on an exponential level. It's learning about your body and how it works. It's helping other people to learn about themselves. It's growing together and making a global impact difference. And if this is you and you're like curious, what's this 28 seven day detox thing? What's this thing about you getting better sleep? I don't know, I heard something about nutrition. Um, you know, I take pretty good care of my body, but you know, I'd like to lose that unwanted five or 10 pounds. Maybe that's you, or maybe you want to be a little bit more disciplined about how you fuel your body. You said something about raw. What does that mean? Or, you know, how do you incorporate nutrition with the food you eat? And you said something about these not having fillers and these being legit ingredients and you're noticing all these difference. How are you getting those? If this is you and you're really just curious or maybe you're deadly serious about it, maybe you're tired of going around the same mountain and you're stagnant in your weight, you're stagnant in, you know, your health issue, you have turned to other doctors you don't really know where else to go with things and you're looking for that change you're exactly who i really want to connect with so here's the deal you guys whether you just want to be healthier whether you want to lose that 20 pounds whether you really want to look at how, how this could help you in your situation whatever the case may be i definitely want to connect with you so i'm going to leave my contact information in the video comments below. I want you to get in touch with me if you know me privately on Facebook. Again, I'm gonna post um, my results and I'm gonna leave the major highlights of what this 28 day detox has done because it's one thing to hear it, but if you're visual like me, it's another thing to completely see it. And I want you to really be able to see this for yourself. I want you to see how this made such an impact and not just for me, for my family, for, you know, just people I'm, I've am i been helping that I'm meant to help, that maybe are still in the process of being aligned with me, that I'm meant to connect with, whatever that looks like. I'm here to stay. I'm really focused on helping you to get those results that you're looking for. It has been life-changing for me. I really want to make a difference and an impact. And if you have found this video helpful okay and if you know me personally by the way you can message me directly if you would like or you could respond in the video comments below but if you have found this video super helpful and you want to take it beyond that step sharing this video is another way to get it out because my network is super limited but you by sharing it have an exponential network even if you're thinking of like maybe one or two people. And I did these, you know, I could have taken it more hardcore, but again, I added some extra calories because I am a breastfeeding mom. I have three children. It's a little bit of a different dynamic here. Um, but once I'm done breastfeeding, I'm gonna take it even up a, a greater notch, right? You know, I've learned so much in just my first one. And I allowed this to be more of a learning curve than anything else because I really wanted to make sure I embraced the full impact of it. And so um, if you're really looking to maximize and optimize in those results or know somebody who is, please have them message me or you message me directly or respond to the video comments below. Share this video, you guys. Feel free. Get the word out there. I want people to know that there's hope, that there's somebody that actually really does want to take the time to hold them accountable, that really wants to encourage them and speak into their lives and really wants to see their lives change forever, to get free from allergies, to lose that weight, to get off of a medication, even though I can't make those medical claims. If it were possible to share something with you that could allow for that to happen, you are exactly who I really want to reach out to, that I really want to see changed for the good, for the best. To be able to get your quality of life back is huge. Your health is absolutely priceless and there's nobody else that can make more of an impact than you. I absolutely believe in you. I believe in everything it is that you're doing. 
I want to encourage you. I want to build you up. I want to run. It is not a sprint. Please know that this is a marathon. In your life, it really matters. And I want to partner with you. And if this is you and you have questions, you want to learn more, please reach out to me again. Like I said, I'll leave my information in the comment section. If you know me directly, you could certainly personally message me. I would love to share this with you. I would love to share what I've learned. I would love to be there for you. Please let me know how it is that I can serve you today. Have a great rest of your day, you guys, and I will look forward to meeting with you this Thursday between 12.50 p.m. and 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Have a great rest of your day and be blessed. Bye for now.